less pain, faster recovery. Uh, and I felt that this particular way of doing it was a significant improvement over everything that I had seen come before it. It's important for, for, for people to realize that we take what we do very seriously because we're dealing with people's lives. And um, he taught the procedure well. He simplified it in a way that was very easily teachable and could be reproduced by somebody who had the appropriate commitment for it. For those who need it, oh well, like elderly, like elderly people who have very uh, uh, weakened states, their bone structure may not be good, they won't heal from having their sternum opened up as well as a younger person might, and certainly it would prolong their recovery. And so for them, having a procedure which uh, doesn't disturb the bony structure of the chest um, is important. Now there's a second group. There are those who want it, and they want it for a variety of reasons. The most important reason is they have to make a living. They have to get back to work. They have a family to support. They have children, they have a mortgage to pay, and they have businesses that they run. And this is a surprisingly large segment of the population, particularly with the economic downturn now where more people have gone back to work and need to continue working. They cannot afford to be off work. And finally, there is the smallest group of patients surprisingly to me, that want it because of cosmetic reasons. But I feel that they are a very small group of patients. Most patients who want it or need it have um, very strong reasons for, for having this procedure. The history of minimally invasive coronary bypass operation is such that the techniques that have come before this have not been as refined and so the surgeons that do them have not been able to do them with the same degree of accuracy and achieve the same results as they can with a standard operation. I tell the cardiologists when I'm done with the operation that this patient needed uh, three bypasses and I did three bypasses and he's doing fine but I don't tell them how I did it so when they go to see the patient afterwards um, and they don't see a scar sometimes they call me to ask me what's going on but most times they simply take note and um, they speak to their colleagues in the cath lab and they say do you know this thing is going on and I have found this to be an effective technique it takes more time but I have found that uh, doctors are picking up the phone to call me that never spoke to me before not because they didn't like me but because they had established referral patterns and uh, they call out of curiosity they call out of interest and I have found this to be a slow but effective way to let people know